What is up, my friends? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are taking a comparison look between two very special libraries, uh, specifically Woodwind libraries. And this is comparing Berlin Woodwinds and Cinematic Studio Woodwinds. And I believe there is no video like this so far on YouTube yet, which is why I wanted to get this out to uh, those people who are wondering about this certain question, like how do these two libraries compare? How do the tonalities between the, the libraries compare to each other? And you know, I'll share with you my personal recommendations and what I personally do on a regular basis with my projects. And then maybe you can make your own choice from there. Uh, before we really get into that and kind of compare the different sounds and characters of the libraries, I do want to give you my sample library buyer's guide. If you don't have it yet, it's totally free, but basically it contains all my personal recommendations for the libraries that I'd like to use on a regular basis. I always get that question, like, what do you use and all that? So if you haven't downloaded it yet, it's totally free and it'll contain all the libraries organized by price, organized by different sections. So you can read it really easily all the way through in one sitting and hopefully it gives you some direction on your next library purchase. Um, so let's get into the comparison between these two libraries. I'm not gonna compare every single patch because that would take a little too long. And just for clarification here, you see the size between the libraries is a little bit different. Um, Cinematic Studio Woodwinds is um, a little over half a gigabyte here, and the the uh, Berlin Woodwinds is only 103 megabytes, but that's only because I'm using the single articulation patches from Berlin Woodwinds, whereas uh, for Cinema Studio uh, Woodwinds, you don't have the option to select single articulations. You literally just have to drag in the whole patch containing all the articulations, so there's a discrepancy there. Um, also, the, the Berlin Woodwinds library tends to run a little heavier on the CPU compared to Cinematic Studio Woodwinds in my experience. Uh, Capsule in general uh, is a little heavier in contact than Cinematic Studio Woodwinds. Not a huge deal, but that's the reason why I'd like to use single articulations in my projects rather than the full multi-patch, which can slow my computer a little bit if there's already a lot of stuff happening in the background. So let's kind of compare the sound and uh, you can let me know what you think about it and uh, you know, we can, we can kind of discuss afterwards, but here's a little indication of what the flute solo sounds like.
All right. So that is a general overview of the comparison of the tone and the legato, mainly of these two libraries. Um, you'll notice that generally Berlin Woodwinds has a very clear, open, and neutral sound, whereas Cinematic Studio Woodwinds has a slightly darker, slightly more muffled uh, signature. At the same time, it feels at the, a little more expressive because the legato, I think, is a little smoother. The general feel of the library is a little bit more, uh, I, I guess, I guess, emotive in a way. Whereas Berlin Woodwinds, there's a there's a, a elasticity to it and a playability that responds very quickly under your fingertips, and I believe it has an adaptive legato in it, which makes it very uh, adaptable in that in those situations that you need them uh, to play faster stuff, right? But keep in mind the the intention of these libraries. So the main Berlin Woodwind series is kind of intended for an ensemble context. You know, even though they recorded the instruments individually, they're still meant to be played as a section. So hence why they recorded like three flutes, two oboes, you know, two clarinets, two bassoons. Then you have some occasional ensemble uh, combinations as well, but mainly it's uh, meant to be used as an entire library in a concert setting. Whereas Cinematic Studio Woodwinds, they give you a series of solo instruments and then they give you two, a combination of two uh, instruments as well. So these tend to stand out a little bit better uh, on their own as soloist instruments, where, whereas I find Berlin Woodwinds, even though it has a, like a cleaner sound and a little more of a playabil playability um, aspect, the general sound and the connective connectivity between the notes is not as suitable for my purposes anyway. But that's why I kind of pulled in some of the solo patches from Berlin Woodwind's um, soloist series. And so these instruments are specifically meant for solos purposes. And you can hear they're a little bit more exposed and a little bit more emotional. So the clarinet and the oboe are among my favorites, along with the English horn as well. So to get a kind of a full sense of the Berlin Woodwind stuff, you probably want to get both the main collection and the solo series if you want more exposed contexts. Uh, whereas for Cinematic Studio Woodwinds, I do not think they're going to come out with a soloist woodwind library. So the I think that these were recorded with more of a soloist purpose in mind as well. Even though you could easily use these in an ensemble context, they can also stand uh, or sit very well uh, you know, with an ensemble, but also as a soloist instruments as well so let me know your thoughts below like do you hear the a big difference between the two libraries do you do you like the signature of one more than the other do you feel like the playability is kind of um different from one to the other if you've owned both owned both of these libraries and you know you're kind of you know wavering on which one you kind of prefer i mean for me personally i kind of like cinematic studio movements by default for soloist contexts if i do need a very exposed singing oboe i'll probably go with the berlin woodwind soloist one but for the flute and the clarinets i, I tend to like cinematic studio woodwinds for bassoon it's kind of a tie between both although i do find myself using the berlin woodwinds one a little bit more so for me it's kind of a tie between these two libraries when it comes to woodwinds and that's pretty much it like there's nothing super complicated about uh, my setup for woodwinds because i just like i think these two libraries really cover all the bases that i personally need you know, they, they have slightly differing tones, different playability, different legato. So, you know, you're, you're bound to find something that you like in either of these libraries. You can't go wrong with either one because they, they both have a relatively neutral sound. Um, it's not like one is overly bright over the other or one is like super, super dark compared to the other. They, they sound pretty similar in my case and in my experience anyway. So... Yeah, hopefully that kind of gives you a sense of these two libraries compared. And maybe if you're on the lookout, uh, you know, to, to buy one of these libraries and considering between both options, maybe this gives you a little bit of clarity. And uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know which one you kind of prefer after watching this video walkthrough. So anyway, thank you so much again for watching. If you haven't downloaded the sample library buyer's guide yet, I just want to remind you it's there in the description. It's totally free and it'll give you a sense of all the sample libraries that I like to use on a regular basis. And of course, these are in there as well. I'm just going over my favorite recommendations and ones that I think could help you on your composing journey. So thank you so much, my friend. I'll see you in the next video and take care. Bye-bye.